everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the Microsoft LifeCam HD5000. This is a high definition webcam capable of capturing 720p HD video with audio. Now this is the packaging, I have already removed the product from the packaging but this is what it's going to look like when you're seeing it retail level on the shelf. Nice bright red packaging. Inside the packaging, let's pop that to one side, we get some uh, sort of quick sheet for how to set up. You're going to pop the driver CD in, connect via USB, attach your camera or sit it on your desk and then it just shows you that you can actually swivel the camera left to right. You also get a uh, product guide. This is going to just walk you through some information about the product. So not much use in that guide, but at least they include it. Then you've of course got the software CD, which you're going to have to install on your computer. I can confirm this does also work on the latest Windows 7 as well. It's what I've been testing on. Let's have a look at the camera itself. It's a really nice piece of kit actually. I don't test a lot of PC kit. But I wanted to be able to bring you a review of one of the new HD web cameras. And this is it. This is the HD 5000. A nice long cable terminated by a USB plug. We've got a little bit of cable management in here as well. The camera itself, let's give you a close look at this. This is the obviously the optics on the front. We've got the microphone pickup. We've also got a little sensor here as well. We've also got a push to talk button here, which you can use with your various messenger programs. Now this does work with most of the messenger programs and it also works with Skype. We've tested it with Skype as well. And attached to the camera, you've got this sort of flexible portion. Now, I wasn't too impressed with this. It's okay, but the idea behind it is you can bend it into various shapes, perhaps this shape to attach to a thin monitor, or if you've got a wider monitor, you would sort of move it round to this shape to sit on the top of your monitor, or an even wider monitor, perhaps you're going to move it round into this shape, or if you want to sit it on your desk, you can actually rotate it round just to sit on the desk in this sort of format. And once it's attached, you can rotate the camera so you can get a good position. It doesn't rotate up and down. It relies on you adjusting the whole stand to rotate up and down, but it certainly does rotate left and right. Now it features autofocus, 16.9 widescreen capture, plus true color technology. The construction feels solid. You just plug in, install the drivers, and you're good to go. But I'm not going to keep just talking about the camera. I want to show you a comparison. And I'm going to show you how this fares against uh, a built-in camera on an Apple iMac. So the comparison you're going to see on your screen next is the built-in camera on an Apple iMac compared to the Microsoft LifeCam HD 5000. So this is a video sample taken with the Microsoft LifeCam HD 5000. It's actually set to record a resolution of 960 by 544. You can also bump the resolution up to 1280 by 720 but I did find that even with my high-end PC, the audio seemed to go out of sync. And now you're seeing a comparative video sample with a built-in iSight camera on an Apple MacBook. Now, whether you're using a MacBook, MacBook Pro or an iMac, the iSight camera is going to be very similar quality. Now, rather than add extra studio lighting, this was recorded using exactly the same amount of lighting and the same white backdrop behind me as you saw when I was recording with the Microsoft LifeCam HD 5000. Now comparing those two clips, I'm sure you'll agree that the actual tonal quality produced by the built-in iSight camera is a lot more pleasing to the eye. But that said, the extra resolution that's offered up by the HD 5000 is very useful, if only they could get that colour balance a lot more accurate. Now during my tests I did have uh, a lot of issues uh, with continual colour and light shifts, so it was sort of flicker, light, lightness going up, colour shifting, uh, wasn't very pleased with it, and also focus issues as well. I found that if I moved in too close to the camera and then back away from the camera, it would struggle with locking on to focus again. Now, those problems did seem to settle down over time, so I'm not sure what the initial problems were, but certainly they do exist. So. Perhaps an update in the software has sorted it for me because I have noticed that while I've been testing it, there have been a couple of updates on it as well. Now it's going to cost you £35 in the UK, $34 in the US, a much better deal for our US uh, customers. 
uh, gets you the HD5000, the software, obviously a nice long USB cable, really good optics and a three year warranty. Well thanks very much for watching, this has been my review of the Microsoft LifeCam HD5000. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video is sponsored by MyMemory.com. For great prices, fast delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.com.